Good evening and welcome back once again. So we're at home this time against Real Valladolid and the next match after that is at home to Rangers in the Europa League. But let's jump in to the team lineups. And as you can see a few changes since the last match. Ruben Castro is going to be up top, Argos playing on the left, Bajer on the right, Fabio Vieira, Mariba and Herrera are the middle three. Teixeira is coming at left back and McDowell at right back. Balbuena is replacing Omaragic, Post coming in goal. And we're back at home again. You know how much I love playing at this stadium. I've had some brilliant performances lately and that has also gone along with improved results in terms of the goals scored. We've seen that bump up again. At the beginning of the season we're getting a lot of 1-0s, 2-1s, just one goal results. The loss we had was a one goal loss. Um, and then recently we've been scoring goals for fun so let's hope that side continues. And I believe this is the last game of the month, so we'll get to see the stats, which will certainly look a lot different than September. For certain, there'll be a lot more goals scored. I could have gone anywhere. They've just cleared it. Yeah, but like I say, quite a few regens in the U squad. Um and I think about four of them have gone out on loan. I think it's that many. So only Danny Garcia is one that we may potentially see play at some point. That's a penalty. Definitely a penalty. Take share of all people. I mean, he is quite an attacking fullback. Don't know what they're complaining about. It was 100% a penalty. Just left his leg out there. I can't remember the last time we had a, an actual penalty in uh, normal time. Send him the wrong way, and Vieira gets the goal. Simple as you like. Not the way we expected to open in the score sheet, but yeah, you can see the foul there. Very clear cut. Slotted away. Just made sure to hit the target. But yeah, the youth team, like I say, uh, what you can do is you can put them up for loan whilst they're in the youth squad, so you don't have to bring them up. But as soon as you get that offer in and you accept it, you actually have to bring them up to uh, first team and pay their salary. And um, then you'll get the transfer fee and they'll go out on loan. Now, obviously, like I say, the youngster we've just bought through um, he won't go on loan until January which is why he's in the squad at the moment here's Bajet oh my word was that Vieira? it was going for the spectacular there ball bounced up just about the right height well over in the end but what an effort Castro starting again today. I think he's potentially been the star player this season. Just because of... Uh, I didn't expect him to play this many minutes. Like I've said before, I've had him in previous Pez games as a regen and he's always done well for me. I know the type of player he is. I know how to, to use him to his full potential. And he just seems to suit me, even if his stats aren't spectacular by any means at the moment. As in his actual attributes. But yeah, I mean, he's just going to get better. He's only 16. And I just really like playing with him in the team. Castro again. Oh, just wide. It's very dynamic. See, he lost the ball there. He was crowded out by two defenders and he still somehow manages to get the shot away. He had no right to get a shot there. And it's just wide. Acrobatic. He's just a very fun player to play with. And he's... I think 
equally good playing as that centre forward role or playing on that sort of left wing. Um, I mean, he's better when you switch him to a second striker, but playing in that left sort of wing position. Very good at both. Javier, a bit of space, but not many people to play the ball to. Rodrik now Castro. Oh, nearly got the ball through to Peugeot there. They are crowding him out, that's what I'd say uh, so far. Whenever Castro is getting the ball, he's got about three or four people around him. Trying to thread the needle there. Understandably so, but they are playing very, very defensive. Getting numbers in the in the box in, in that sort of defensive midfield position. I don't blame them, but it um, just makes it difficult for us. We needed to be doing better than that, though. Oh, here's Castro. What can he do? Again, look at that. Three players around him. Castro. Oh, just deflects wide. Again, he gets the shot away somehow. They managed to defend it pretty well, actually. I think they would have been unlucky if I'd have tripled in the, in the goal there. Oh, nearly. Castro was on the end of it and he just got tackled at the last second. Now Bajer, again, not many people to... Well, not much space. Maribe, oh, straight at the keeper. Well struck. Keeper certainly going to be busy. Good block there from Maribe. Castro again gets the shot away. We'll keep doing that though, that will pay off. That first touch he's got, that just takes it away from the defender. It's Xerxes just doesn't quite have that sometimes. And Xerxes is such a fantastic player for us. Don't take anything away from him. He's a different player than Castro. Um But Castro definitely brings a little bit more dynamic to our play. Nice play, Vieira's in here. Strong defence, though. That was a good uh, challenge. But again, we pressure them to make a mistake. Potentially one last chance to double the lead ahead of the half time whistle. Castro. Again, blocked. And that is half time. In the end, it was a penalty that's got the breakthrough, and we haven't managed to increase on that yet. And exactly what you expect the majority of the possession, nearly two thirds, and the majority of the shots. It's just about putting away those chances. I don't think we've done anything wrong. I think we've created chances, half chances, and we've done probably as best as we can do with some of them. Castro has played very, very well with not getting any reward at this stage. Lovely play, Vieira. Castro. Arcas. What a finish. And that was all Castro again. Wonderful play. He'll get an assist. Castro playing it out wide. Nice ball in from Vieira here. He did, he did well, very strong, but look at this little touch. Touch turn, another touch pass. And uh, Arcas getting a rare start this season. And that's what we needed. We needed that comfort of a second goal. Because you never know, you're 1-0 up, even if you were absolutely on top of the game and the opposition are not 
creating any chances. Um, the way the AI works in this, they'll suddenly decide, yep, it's now time to turn on the style and they turn into Barcelona of 2010. Castro, and there it is, the goal he deserves. Maribo with the assist. It almost hit him on, I think it hit him on the heel there. It still went through. And Maribo's been a good friend. He's gradually got better each game. Simple ball. Just hits Castro on the heel, but he's still slotted away. And I think he's... I haven't looked to see what his actual rating is for his weaker foot. But... From experience, he seems to be equally adept with his left and his right. I don't hesitate to shoot with his left foot, that's for certain. That was poor from Teixeira. Does well a hustle. Didn't quite win it back though. Does now, but still they're getting the ball. Herrera now, a little bit of space ahead of them. Maybe they're going to go on the attack a little bit more. I mean, they have to. Oh, acres of space for Vieira. Oh, what a finish. He was getting his shirt pulled. Because you can feel it on the control of the vibration when you're getting your shirt pulled. Marcus will get another assist. So you get your shirt pulled there, but what a finish from Vieira. Stayed strong. An arrow of a shot. Got some good strength on our squad. We'll make some substitutions the next time the ball goes out. Is that another penalty? Is that a free kick? He is very lucky. I mean, most of my body was inside the box. We'll make some subs though. So we're going to bring on Harrington for Bajer just to give him a bit of rest. And we are going to bring on Danny Garcia in place of Fabio Vieira. What a save, that was behind him there. Don't know how they kept that in. Oof, Danny Garcia's first touch wasn't good, second one was a bit better. And then a poor pass. It's all going on. I don't think Castro fluffs his lines a little bit. Nearly a brilliant pass through to Maribe. Castro is very good at that. Those little flicks around the 18 yard box sort of area, just outside the box. That's a terrible pass from Teixeira. Waited too long, and then it was just over here. Nicely played to Herrera there. And Castro, Arcas, Harrington. Just overplayed it there. That was me just overplaying it. Although saying that, you know, that's when we're at our best when playing those quick passes, but I just think it was one too many, maybe. Danny Garcia again, he's had a few touches so far. That's a poor pass from Maribet. And that's not... How is that a free kick? I don't understand how I never get those. Nice 
nice play from Castro again. Oh, I was just going to play Mariba in there. Oh, it's a poor header. That should have been an easy pass to one of the attackers. Castro again. What a save. And through no fault of his own, but Castro could have had about five goals in this match. Yeah, don't think he's put a foot wrong, really. And he's done all the right things in terms of trying to find the finishes, the shots, and sometimes it just hasn't quite come off either, whether it's the goalkeeper or just blocked or, or whatever. Castro again. What a save again. <laughs> Maybe made it look a bit more spectacular than it needed to be, but still. It's 4-0 and the keeper has strangely kept them at least semi-respectable multiple times. Brilliant result though. 60% possession, but more importantly, 14 shots, 11 on target. Maybe could have done a bit better, got more, but the keeper did some good saves and didn't really miss many chances. We didn't really do anything wrong. I think we did the right things. Fabio Vieira, man of the match. I would agree. And the fact that Ruben Castro got the same rating, I'm very pleased with. All of the midfield was good. The top three were good. Arcas, I'm glad he put in a good performance because he's been a little bit iffy coming off the bench lately. Danny Garcia got a 4.5. I'm not sure how. I know he gave the ball away twice, but then he played some decent passes. Another brilliant three points. And we're actually now five points ahead of Atletico Madrid, who are one point clear of Real Madrid. Barcelona have dropped down to fifth now. And looking at the results of October, a little bit more like it. Zirxi, top of the goal scoring. Perez and Castro up there as well, all on four. Cousins with the assists. Ruben Castro, top three with the assists. I'm surprised Castro is not on the top three for average rating. I thought he would be. I don't think he's putting any bad performances. So but the fact that he hasn't got an average rating of higher than 6.8... A little bit surprised. Not not that he's had any bad ratings. I think Castro for me has been player of the month. But it's just good to see everyone finding a bit of form. Mudrik, he's on the average rating in the top three. He started to get a few actual assists and goals as well, which is important. And looking at the actual matches, six wins. And it's looking more like what we were at the tail end of last season. Plenty of goals. All around brilliant. Look at that. Threes and fours. A six there. Very pleased with that. We're definitely picking up a little bit. And I think it's partly down to me just playing better. I had a bit of a rough time. You know when you're playing the game and you just, you're just you not quite finding the form? And the next match we're at home to Rangers in the Europa League. Again, I think if we win that one, we're pretty much safe to get through the group stages of that. We're looking really good in the league. Still in the Copa del Rey. This could be a multiple cup winning season. I'm not going to say we're going to win all three, but it could be one of those seasons where we're pushing all three towards the end there. But thank you very much for joining. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. I'll see you all next time. Cheers.